What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of the Evolution X ROM. I just installed it yesterday and this is the latest build as of right now. Let me quickly go into the settings and show you guys which build is it. In the Android version section, on top we have the Evolution X logo. The Android version is 10 of course as you can see and this is the 4.1.69 march madness version it says over here of the evolution x official build the security patch if you're noticing is the latest march 5th 2019 i know i know this is not even march 5th today so yeah this is like pretty early march like security patch build over here and if you notice the stock kernel which is the fixie kernel over here and the build date is 3rd march 2020 build so now let me go back and like show you the system and stuff in the system panel we do have the system updater over here and if you are talking about flashing well i am on the miui 11 latest firmware if you are not on the latest firmware you have to flash it and if you are on the latest firmware you don't need to like flash it separately you just don't need to wipe the vendor so just if you are on the latest miui version and you want to flash this rom just do not wipe the vendor when you flash the orange fox recovery and yes i am on the latest stable orange fox recovery and i just like wiped cache Dalvik system data from previous ROM and I just flashed this like Evolution X build which do not need any gapps file separately and I flashed with the fcrypt disabler because I am decrypted. So I would say if you are on the like previous builds of this ROM you just need to go into your recovery and then flash the latest build with the fcrypt disabler and reboot you don't need to wipe anything else. In the gesture section we have the old kind of things like the android 10 gestures then we have the two button and three button navigations if you would like to use those and in the settings of these you can like hide this navigation bar pill if you would like to because if you want to use the full real estate of the screen you can do that and there are more customizations over here let me go back we have the front camera effects and stuff and the stock camera is the miui camera over here as you can see and the front camera and stuff is like opening up fine with the sound and the led turned on and all the lenses like the wide angle and the telephoto lens as well is working super fine here even the videos are working fine over here you don't need to worry with the 960 fps slow mo as you can see from here this is working fine with this miui camera i have also installed the latest google camera if you don't have this latest google camera 7 installed i'll link a card over here to like install this apk you can download it from there and install as i did over here and you can use google camera 7 all the features of google camera 7 almost are working fine talking about the rom i would say the customizations levels are insane and still this is like one of the most customizable rom you can like customize anything from accent colors and stuff and as you can see on the lock screen even on the always on display i have changed this kind of like lock color on the hour side i have changed it to red and i am using the sammy kind of font over here on the lock screen and i put it a little bit bigger and here is the fingerprint scanner speed from the always on display as you just saw let me do it again from the lock screen now and as you can see it unlocked pretty fine now let's try with the night light mode turned on it makes the display yellowish let's try from the always on display and it worked let's try from the lock screen with the night light turned on and still it worked I would say the like fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fine and it is like almost faster than me why I would say in some like points and in the theme section on the like customization section we have the accent color you can customize any kind of accent color from here you can choose whatever color you need I have been using this red one and the red one looks like fine with the dark theme looks better so I have been using the red one you can change the body fonts if you'd like there are a lot of like fonts for the whole UI so that's really cool icon shapes and stuff is there if you want to change that and we have the status bar icon like kind of thing then we have header image and stuff if you need that and then quick setting header color tint style and stuff then the blur settings is there whenever you're pulling down the status bar as you can see the background gets bloody this is that like blur alpha and intensity settings and in the status bar we have the clock option and stuff i have changed the clock to like show in slate for oneplus font as you can see from here and i have increased the font size a little bit so yeah you can change whatever you need over here then we have the network traffic carrier label customization status bar items we have the headset blue that's the icons up here status bar logo and stuff not like very useful things and here in the battery style we have the big circle if you'd like to use that well my tempered glass is covering this like top but this is not how it actually looks if you look from here as you can see you can see the battery circle and stuff if you look like this but if you look straight right now my tempered glass is kind of covering the top 
so yeah that's really <laughs> weird for me let me change it to normal icon portrait and then we have the battery percentage you can choose it to be next to the icon or inside the icon of course and the battery percentage when charging is there and talking about charging yes 18 watt fast charging i have pressed that and it is working super fine no issues with the fast charging here and we have the Volti icon and stuff you can change the Volti icon to me by 11 hdcf asus or like whatever Volti icon you want to use you can use that over here and in the notification panel we have the heads up and like the sticker disabling option then we have the battery charging light if you want that and here the edge lighting or the notification kind of screen lighting works super fine here i have changed it to red color by default it's like blue and it looks pretty cool and from here you can change the ambient display brightness saves a little bit of battery by decreasing it i would say and let me go back to the quick settings panel we have the vibrate on touch then the quick pull down and stuff hide battery icon is there then brightness slider and stuff then column and row number customization are there quick setting footer text if you want to use that you can like enable that edit icon and stuff is there and in the power menu we do have the advanced reboot and as you can see in the power menu you can directly reboot to recover your fast boot from here so that's not a problem and we have the visibility on the lock screen and stuff then advanced reboot on the lock screen too and here we have the gestures we have the normal AOSP gestures on the top then we have the swipe click screenshot and this is like oxygen waste kind of screenshot taking feature you can scroll it if you would like or you can edit the screenshot right away if you would like and screen of power button torch is working fine and this brightened control by sliding a finger on the status bar is just working flawlessly you don't need to worry about it and here we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen both work super fine you do not need to worry and here in the lock screen we have the pocket detection fingerprint authentication and of course there is no always unlock with the fingerprint scanner as of right now so yeah that's a bummer and we have these mini icon customizer as you can see you can use this one if you'd like looks pretty cool i would say like a lot of them looks pretty cool and you can choose whatever fingerprint scanner icon you would want and from here we have the recognizing animation i have been using this color os one animation you can use whatever animation you need as you can see there are plethora of options for these fingerprint scanner animations and you can really tinker around it and like get whatever you need i like this colorways one and this looks pretty cool and there is also this fingerprint pressed icon color which is like the light it emits from the fingerprint scanner and this you can choose to whatever you need like me by cyan white or vivo cyan vivo cyan or green and a lot of like other colors are there i have been using this vivo green one then we have the status bar and clock widget and stuff and from this clock widget i have changed this to like this sammy accent color you can choose it to be these many fonts as you can see and here you can choose it to be on the like text of android 10 android 9 then this sammy kind of fonts and these default fonts lot of style options are there and even you can change the font separately as you can see to these like samsung and cool story and stuff let me change it to this one and see all right so it looks like this yeah it looks a little bit weird but you can customize like however you like it like this as you can see like this slate for oneplus and as you can see you can change it to whatever you need and you can even increase the font size if you would like so a lot of customizations and there is this charging animation too while charging it shows a little bit of animation on top of the fingerprint scanner kind of like charging so yeah looks pretty cool i will show it to you if i can let me go back and in the navigation panel we have the system navigation of course and we have the enable navigation if you are using the two button or three button navigation you can invert the layout and in the hardware buttons we have the volume key answer and stuff then we have the animations and from here you can like totally disable the animation or you can choose the screen of animation to see at your scale and then we have the quick setting panel animation like the toggle animations and the whole UI animation is present no need to worry in the misc settings we have the gaming mode then wake up on charge disabling option is there and the charging animation is there whenever you're plugging in or something and in the usb configuration you can set it to file transfer so that whenever you plug in with your pc it will go directly to the file manager of the like device let me go back in the sound settings and here things get a lot more interesting and here we have the me sound enhancer you can use the hi-fi audio dirac if you would like and then we have the like normal audio directs of like me audio direct you can choose whatever headphones you need the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is super amazing you do not need to worry about it and i have tried with this me dual driver earphones also this bluetooth like me sports bluetooth headset both are working super fine in this room you don't need to worry and you can also disable the screenshot sound dial pad sound then the ring alarm etc volumes and stuff 
let me go back and here in the display settings we have the lock screen display dark theme night light etc options in the styles and wallpapers we have these kind of options you can change the clock font on the lock screen too from here if you'd like then we do not have any accent colors and stuff over here because those are in the theme settings and here we do not have the dc dimming feature anymore i don't know why it's missing right now but yeah it is missing double tap to wake and stuff is working fine you don't need to worry and talking about the battery life well you don't need to worry about it because i have been getting almost eight plus hours of screen on time with this rom and it has been lasting me for a whole day with a full charge so no issues whatsoever with the battery life over here on this rom now let me go home the stock launcher is this let me show you the pixel launcher still and it does not have double tap to sleep anywhere you can double tap to sleep on the status bar and it should work and let me unlock now let's talk about the stock dialer this is how the stock in call ui looks like yes it does not have the like call recording option and volt calling and wi-fi calling both works fine you don't need to worry but yeah there is no call recording option by default because this is like pixel in call ui and on the stock launcher to the left we have the google now cards you can swipe up to get the app drawer and stuff and the whole ui performance is pretty smooth here is the enter to score of this rom you can play pubg on hdr and extreme settings you do not need to worry about gaming and stuff in this rom and here we have the google pay working right out of the box so you don't need to worry about it and if you have the indian redmi k20 pro the dm info shows as level one so you don't need to worry about streaming netflix or amazon prime on 1080p so yeah the whole rom is still pretty great and i have been using this rom as a daily driver and i had no issues whatsoever with this rom so you guys can definitely try the latest evolution x march madness build on your redmi k20 pro if you'd like Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is T2 from KD and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.